Hello, and many thanks for the invitation. It's a great pleasure to join this conference. My name is Tobias Kremler, and I'm a digital artist and designer. Playfulness is a very important aspect in my work. It goes along with a certain unpredictability I introduce in form of randomness, AI, or generative design. It adds life to the digital. A few years ago, I was visiting professor in Hong Kong and taught these methods to students in early semesters who had little experience in digital creation. After a few classes, I realized that some students got a bit lost in technical complexities or just used very common digital effects rather than exploring more. I felt the playfulness disappeared and decided to leave the digital space and introduce the same principles with real objects manipulated just by hand. Digital wireframes became wooden sticks, particles became rice corns, meshes turned into paper. And all of this could be manipulated, banded, twisted and transformed by hand rather than complex software functions. I have developed around 50 basic learning modules, each addressing a particular topic such as dynamics, transformation, variation, extraction, composition, time, permutation, rhythm or pattern. It followed the spirit of the Bauhaus preliminary course but added principles that are essential for digital art and design education. The students enjoyed that very much and playfulness came back. In later semesters, I introduced a digital counterpart to each of the real exercises and the students became much more encouraged to play and explore the virtual possibilities and even went beyond the restrictions of the physical. It seemed that it needed an initial haptic experience, something that involved the physical body to create an analogy to the virtual, a kind of bridge. And many of the students' projects made its way from the digital space back into real environments, be it in form of immersive media performances or large-scale dome and theater projections. Speaking about blending real and virtual worlds, I was always wondering to which degree a virtual self-representation is considered as real. Will consciousness adapt to a virtual embodiment, even if the digital body only consists of a translucent point cloud instead of real likeness? Together with one of my most talented students, Adam Zecke, we started an experiment that led to an unpredicted result caused by a technical glitch. You can go in between the red and the, the normal Kinect to switch partly. Thanks for doing a video, I do. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> I just stepped outside of my body again. And I'm walking there. Yeah, the Oculus is not tracked anymore. Yeah, I know, but this is... This is fucking weird. I'm walking there. <laughs> I'm walking away. <laughs> but my... Hey, 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 stop, stop. The, the wires are getting... Uh... <gasps> Shit. <laughs> uh... Okay. Uh, maybe that's enough for now. <laughs> okay, good. So you can uh, remove the headset. You want to tell something about your experience? <sighs> that was really weird. I mean, that part when, when, when I was, I saw that I'm standing here. And my body was walking away there. Uh, <laughs> I can't really describe that. 
A few years later, I continued this research at AI Zurich University. In this scenario, the headset is replaced with flexible screens to expose the visuals to a larger group of spectators. The screen objects gained an architectural quality and were arranged by the performers whose virtual representations are projected on it. In 2017, I have been commissioned by the partners with a project for the London Symphony Orchestra. Based on the movement of the conductor, Sir Simon Rattle, I have created a sound visualization. The visualization embodied a synthesis of human motion and music. Like music, motion can have qualities such as rhythm and dynamic curves. By extending the time span of the motion, and the music's composition, such patterns became visible. In a collaboration with the Chinese dancer Liko, I have further explored the temporal deformation of motion. The body's shape itself is sliced in rhythmic intervals, bended by time. In certain constellations, the body intersects with its own representation from a different time. Future meets past. In further studies, motion of two dancers were blended together, which created a virtual third dancer that embodies the original duet in one single body. A huge variety of studies were created based on different principles. Visualization principles related to figurative motion and time have been introduced by Mybridge, Murray and others who explored the possibilities of the newly invented medium photography. The digital medium extends such principles and offers additional opportunities. In this study of Kung Fu movements, each element extracts and empathizes a particular quality of motion. For example, speed is essential in Kung Fu, but as faster the movements, as more difficult they are recognized by human perception. Thus, I only visualize those parts of the body which exceeds a high velocity. Motionless or slow moving parts of the body remain invisible. In this study, the original body stays completely invisible. What we see is the propagation of its motion towards empty space, comparable to turbulences in liquid or gaseous matter. Such principles resonate with Chinese traditional philosophy, in which empty or negative space is equally important as the visible. Although such forms are invisible in reality, they are based on information extracted from it. The work is not primarily intended to change forms, but rather change the way we perceive them. This can also contribute to concepts of virtual playgrounds and creative experiences. Rather than mimicking reality, it would be an interesting approach to look beyond the surface and visualizing forces that are normally invisible. Imagine a scenario in which architecture is shaped by motion, or motion is influenced by forces between certain entities. This work shows bodies drifting in space like celestial bodies. Their behavior is affected by physical simulations such as fields, gravity of mass and collisions. It reverses the negative space by letting the emptiness affect the matter. In such a scenario, the distance between the objects become equally important as the mass of the objects themselves. Any centralistic view gets dissolved as the constellation is integral, which might be a good precondition for a playground. A landscape can emerge in a similar manner, 
like a sensitive membrane reacting to its environment serving as a dynamic platform of a virtual playground. Thank you for your attention.